Uh, uh, yeah, that. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> so I had to get it out of my system. Of a uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's my impersonation of Thurman. <laughs> can, can, is it okay if I start the show now? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. If you want to, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. I, as much as I pr- appreciated your, your impersonation there. Oh. <laughs> Welcome aboard Carnival Cruising Podcast Aways, where we set sail on a journey of adventure oh. and laughter with your favorite hosts, wow. Thomas Kennedy, Trevor Shelby, and Reese Scripture. All right. Get ready to explore the world of Carnival Cruises with all the tips, tricks, and hilarious anecdotes you could ever need. Whether you're a seasoned cruiser or just a first timer, We've got you covered. So grab your life jackets and join us on the open seas. This is Carnival Cruising Podcast Aways. Welcome, everybody, to the show. This is an exciting, momentous, excellent episode that we have gathered for you guys today. We are so prepared for this episode. We've been gathering data and information to bring to you at, like, staggering rates. I mean, we've spent, like, weeks on this episode. What have you been smoking? Uh, (laughs) Why are you lying to our... (laughs) Why are you lying to our listeners? We've really tried, guys. <laughs> Let's start it off with that. Like, you know, not everybody has an A game every week. <laughs> let's start that off. Let's let's put your expectations for this episode just a, a little low. You know, let, let's lower those expectations. Well, 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 let's take those lower <laughs> expectations and lower them even more. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, how and uh, this is a loaded question. How's y'all's week been? It's great. I am. It's amazing. Okay. I am <laughs> feeling much better. Glad to be back. That's great, Reese. How about you? Awesome, <laughs> Reese. <laughs> it's great. I, I you know, I mean, we got Reese back. I mean, he he sounds yeah. a little he <laughs> sounds on. better than he did, Hang you on. know. I am so happy to be back. I am not dead or in a basement anywhere. That's wonderful, Reese. Sweet. You know, there's been so many questions on where you've been. And, and, and you know, people are, are like, it's Reese case. You guys don't want to have him on the show anymore. Yeah. Like, no, we, why would we want to, you know, take him away from our, our, our <laughs> listeners? And I just wanted to say that I have come to the conclusion that Trevor and Thomas are the funny ones. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, yes. He acknowledged that. <laughs> oh, Sweet. my goodness. That's, that's, that's amazing. So, <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> Finally, we've been able yeah, to get yeah. the truth out there. Oh, my God. I mean, Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Oh, God. Oh, that was a good guess. (laughs) Yeah. We did say to, like, lower your expectations. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So. Oh. Well... You know, this this last couple of weeks, um, Madison, I wanted to say uh, she's been sick. Like I said last week, she has a virus. And so um, definitely, definitely, you know, you guys, she'll be posting here soon. So I know the, the, the Facebook page has been lacking a little bit. But we did get a poll out, didn't we, Mr. Kennedy? Yeah. I posted, you know, a, a poll about... You know, what would you do? What which would you choose of the attractions that are on board, like the water slides, ropes course, the bolt roller coaster, or the sky course? Ooh. And you know, of course, with you know some heckling from the peanut gallery, Mister <laughs> Trevor Shelby, and, and and of course Gary, you know, saying yeah. the alchemy bar, which has nothing to do with what I <laughs> what, what my poll was about. Yeah. You know. um, oh. The bolt roller coaster actually won out by by a good majority, 
Forty-one percent of everyone who voted voted for that. Wow. And the ropes course and water slides got uh, tied for five percent, or I'm sorry, twenty-five percent. And then the sky course got one vote. Wow. Well, the uh, so the sky course. Are you saying that that's the- like the <laughs> bike rider thingy? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I I do gotta say like the bike thing is I, it's called something else. It's not called Sky Course. It's called like Sky something. But but it I really like it. I, I didn't get to ride it, but I did. Megan and her mom got to do it, and so she may have been the only vote on that one. I don't know. No, <laughs> she may it have been actually, that one lonely vote. It was actually Nick. Nick was the only the lonely. Okay. Uh, so your wife voted uh, the ropes course like you did. Okay. So I I will say the ropes course is a lot of fun. And the more and more out of shape I've become, it's become a lot more challenging. <laughs> well yeah, I mean bigger. <laughs> yeah. I'd say ten years ago, I was like, This is dumb. <laughs> like I ah, I got this. And then like the last time I did it, I was like, Oh, this thing can really hold my weight, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Like <laughs> Guy, come save me! Come, save me. yeah! I fell again. I'm um, hanging here. I nothing I can do. <laughs> I, should 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 I do the 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 zip line portion? Oh, dude, no, he shouldn't. No, uh, that, <laughs> you'll you'll snap yeah. and fall in the ocean, dude. Yeah. Oh, so, <laughs> and then water slide. That's always a good one. So, yeah, there's a drop slide on the celebration. Yeah. I'm kind that's, of that's awesome. that. I feel like my vertigo is not going to allow me to have much fun on this trip. Yeah. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> so what did you vote for, Mr. Kennedy? Well, I voted for the water slides. Oh, okay. I I probably knew that because you are a water slide connoisseur. So I, I seem to remember on one of my first cruises – we were trying. We were in a competition in trying to see uh, one of the one of the water slides spits you out in one of those bowls that you just slide around and around in. And we were in a competition to see who could go around as many times <laughs> more than yeah, more than the other. <laughs> so we were like, I'll, I'll never count. forget the <laughs> on, on the magic. You know, I come out of that that one side that not not the toilet bowl one, the other one. Mm-hmm. And I, I come, I, I come shooting out, and I get up, and you're like laughing. He's like, you, do, you, you, you're sitting there laughing because he said I was like parting the Red Sea. It was all yeah. this water was coming out and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those are good times. That's my least favorite one. I like the one that lets you out into the bowl or whatever. But that one where you hit the water at the end. Yeah. I, I don't like the sensation of water jetting into my nostrils. And so uh, even if I'm, like, holding it or doing you know, I'd have to do this. Because, like, if I'm not, then, like, I have no choice but to uh, – I, I got a big nose, and it collects water, apparently. <laughs> so. Look at my snozz. I mean, my snozz is huge, man. I, I, I... <laughs> but I am looking forward to the bolt on the celebration. I mean, yes, that's, I, I, yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. The only thing I don't like about the bolt is you have to like register your time and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, of course, but but I mean, you know, know, that that that's it. just to guarantee you a spot. Yeah, I mean, and, and you know, if if you. You know, I've read a lot of groups that people book multiple, and then once they do it once, they just cancel the rest of their reservations. Yeah, but that probably makes sense. Because um, it is fifteen dollars so, a ride. Yeah, that's also kind of ridiculous. But I guess whatevs. I I mean, having <laughs> having worked at a theme park, <laughs> I'm just like well, it's yeah, a I roller mean, coaster. Yeah, it is a roller coaster, but and, and we've ridden plenty of roller coasters and, working at that theme park. And yeah, and let's be honest, it's not like it's it's not like the greatest roller coaster. No, but it's still a coaster on the. It's sea. still a coaster uh, on the sea. I get it. 
It's got. I just don't fifteen dollars get it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe somebody else can convince me. We're just that spoiled it's, because it's I, I don't know about you, but I haven't set foot in a theme park since we quit Frontier City. So, and we used to uh, ride those for free. Yeah, I've I've gone back to Frontier City like once. That's and the, but at any other theme park I haven't really been to. I've I've been to Sea World, but that doesn't really count. That's not really a thing. Like a yeah, it is. I mean, it's, it's a, a theme thing, park. But, but it's not like I don't know. They it's a theme park. Yeah, I felt guilty when I left that place. <laughs> you felt I guilty. I did. I was like, oh, they're really profiting off all these animals. <laughs> so, oh, but. <clears throat> Oh, whatever. So, <laughs> didn't Madison put out one before she got sick and is on life support? And yes, dying? yes, yeah. She's not on life support. Don't put that out there. So, beep, <laughs> beep, beep. beep. Yeah, beep. if if I can find it, beep. Uh, <laughs> oh, poor Madison. So, Madison put out there. Uh, she wanted to know. Well, what's the one thing you absolutely have to do on every cruise you go on, whether it's trying every single food at the buffet, spending a day lounging at the pool, or participating in every single onboard activity? And she wanted to know what everybody had to say about that. And Stephen actually said that uh, he said after going to the muster station, when I, when he gets on the ship, he goes, he's off to the deli for a sandwich and a piece of the confetti cheesecake and to get my first fun ship drink. So he's one of those first drinkers all right on the ship. He, he's going for that first day drink. So Heck that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Kennedy, you said the blackjack tournament, which I've, I've watched you compete in several times. Yeah. I'm hoping that they're, that, that they're back by now. I mean, yes. It's been, you know, it's been a while. <laughs> My good friend Brenda said, I like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> wow. There you go, Brenda. Thank you. Thank you for that contribution there. Um, Catherine says, I got to see the MDR diner, or diner uh, dinner show <laughs> at least once and walk around all the, the uh, state rooms in L- and look, interact with the door decor and duck hunt. Also, the drink package is a must. You will rarely find me without some kind of drink in my hand. So for those of you, like, and the people that asked about the duck hunt, there is a duck hunt on every cruise. <laughs> There's, people just hide I, the rubber people ducks. People bring rubber ducks on every cruise and they hide them everywhere. Now, I I have nothing against the duck hunt, except there are some people that seem to take it a little further than it needs to go. (laughs) True. Where are they putting these ducks? No, it's like, there are people, it's their entire persona on the cruise. Yeah, they'll they'll like dress with duck hats and stuff like that. Yeah, Ooh, do um, they use duck calls? <laughs> <laughs> we should bring duck calls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not going to name names because if I say the name, everybody's going to know what I'm talking about. That's in these duck groups, but there is an individual that I met on a cruise that he was flabbergasted that I did not know who they were. <laughs> and they introduced <laughs> themselves to me. And yeah, it was really weird. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, as long as you're not taking it that far, Catherine, I'm all for a good duck hunt. I'm also all for bringing googly eyes and sticking them in inappropriate places. So... Uh, Julia says a visit to the alchemy bar and I'm right there with you, Julia. And Gary says, I don't necessarily have a must do, but I do like to have a blue iguana breakfast burrito on the first morning. (laughs) I have a little bit there, Gary. (laughs) Uh, Which I should, should we talk about it? Like, I think we should. 
there's a there's a chance that we might actually have uh, old Gare Bear on the show. Yeah, I so, mean, so we we did you did you did send him the message, right? I sent him a message, you know, a few weeks ago when he was like, "Ah, baby," and so uh, <laughs> I'm I'm putting the ball in his court. In this uh, I episode. mean. <laughs> we would love to have Gary and Teresa both on here. Yes. You know? Yes. Absolutely. I mean, she she did kind of she she has kind of taken responsibility for us. Yeah. I think. She's our babysitter. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, especially in Aruba. So uh, <sighs> she will try her hardest to get us back on the ship. Which is great. Really nice of her. So <laughs> oh. that's going to be one great, one great day. Yes. Yeah. If you don't know what we're talking about, we are going on a cruise. The family reunion group cruise is going to be on May 20th of this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, there's going to be a whole bunch of different YouTube creators, podcasters, all kinds of stuff going on. And, uh, and we're going to record um, a, a short episode on, uh, on the ship. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we may record an episode. Uh, I want to do a review. Uh, so we may get some bonus content out of this. It's going to be fun. So yeah. this is a newer ship. And so I would like to. And it's our first time on an XL class ship. Too. Well, it's still so, brand new. I mean, it's yeah. only going to be seven months old, old yeah. when we get on. So, but, you know, we will see. And, you know, everyone, and I will bring this up later on, but if you guys could say a prayer for my mother, she has to put up with the three of us in a 19-hour car ride. Yes. Yeah, we're taking the old gas guzzler all the way to Florida. Listen, the ravioli is not a gas guzzler. <laughs> Your truck is a gas guzzler. <laughs> what? That poor, tiny little car, and it's inefficient <laughs> plug-ins. And- yes. So inefficient. So inefficient. I'm going to be riding so, on top like the Beverly Hillbillies in a you will. rocking chair. <laughs> Just flip everybody off. <laughs> California howdy. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. So uh, something, you know, I, earlier I sent a couple of screenshots to Mr. Kennedy Oh, some things that uh, I wanted to cover. And although the opening doesn't really fit, <laughs> I'm going to use it because I love my openings. And uh, I made them for a reason. So. Wait, what did they say to John Hill? They'll maybe come over there and fight you. I'll fight you. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. Oh. So we, we had some interesting things that we noticed that people were contacting John Heald about, and none of them are really, like, rude or overly crazy, but they are just interesting questions that he received. Good morning. Has Carnival considered a non-alcoholic package, similar to the Cheers package, for those wanting unlimited sodas, coffees, frozen drinks, etc., for non-drinkers or the 16 to 20-year-olds. Well, and and what did John have to say about that? Oh, well, you want me to read it in John's voice? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh, he's getting ready here. Hold on. Yes, indeed. We've looked at... Oh, oh shit, I gotta... Oh, oh, my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make it bigger. Oh. oh. Yes, indeed. We, we, now, I get, now I lost it. Oh, man, I can't. I'm not doing that. No way. Um, <laughs> Rocky, is that what John sounds like? <laughs> there we go. An English <laughs> hick from <Yeah>. the hills. <laughs> we've, lo- we've looked at, at this uh, uh, carefully. Melody, and at the moment, we don't have any plans to do this. The reason mostly is because a non-alcoholic program is more expensive to produce than one like the Cheers program, which contains alcohol. That means it's more difficult to pass on any savings to the guest. 
So I hope that explains that just a little bit. Um, Anyway, I can't, I don't know what that word is, why we're not <laughs> <laughs> doing this. And of course, if anything changes, I will let you know. Sending best wishes. Well, and so basically they want a package that's going to cover like the coffee, the drinks, the soda, the, the mocktails, anything, anything that's not alcohol. Any, basically. A, a, anything that the cheers package covers minus the alcohol. Yeah, and I I'm all for that, but John's response is, is they can't make it cost effective enough for us to make it worth it. Which and, I know plenty of people who all they drink is designer coffees from Starbucks. So Java Blue, yeah, you know, they get kind of expensive at Java Blue. How much that you know the coffee? Yeah, are. yeah. I think I average. Uh, about five or six dollars a cup over there, and that that's like a mochaccino and makes Trevor happy. And so, you know, thinking about it, it's like I don't know if they're saying I, I don't know if it's I don't know if John's being completely honest. <laughs> so I'm wondering if it's more that. He can't, or they can't make it more cost effective for Carnival. I'm thinking it's more of the cost effective for Carnival because you can do it, you know, make it cost effective for the, you know, the others. I mean, look at the bottomless bubbles. I mean, yeah, there, there, there are people who drink, you know, six packs a day, you know, twelve packs a day, and uh, mm -hmm. of soda, and you know, so you know that's two dollars a, a soda. And they still make it to where, you know, it's quite simply very cost effective to buy the, the, the bottomless bubbles. Yeah. And I don't know. I'm just, I would love a coffee package. So I would actually choose that over the cheers package. And even if it was really expensive, I at least know well, like where I'm at for the, for the cruise. Versus... Well, they used to have the, the coffee package and a milkshake package that you could um, add on to like the I bottomless never bubbles. I saw one. They, 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 it, it, like, it was like a uh, very, very short-lived, but it came out around the same time as the Cheers package. I have no clue. Uh, I do know that other cruise lines have it, uh, but I just don't know why Carnival does it. Um, but it, I, I'm thinking it has it's along the lines of that. And I think that maybe, and this might be controversial, but maybe if they somehow limited the number of drinks you could have. So, like, there's a 15-drink maximum per day with the Cheers. Maybe with this, this one, you could do something similar. Uh, maybe not 15, you start, but, like... And then you start paying afterwards, because... Yeah, or maybe you're paying a discounted rate after. So, that would, that I don't know. would work. Well, I, I mean, know. some of the some of the mocktails are kind of pricey too. You know, like the the mango madness that is a frozen non alcoholic drink. It's like twelve dollars. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if there's an easy answer for it, but that's that's. Uh, Something I would like. There's and along the lines, same lines. I'm thinking, uh, and I've brought this up before. I would love for their if I could just pay like fifty dollars and just have unlimited tokens at the arcade. <laughs> I just maybe not for like the games that you win tickets. I'm talking about just the arcade games. Yeah. So. The, the arcade is uh, a little pricey at points, and so I very limited play anything in there. But if I knew that I had already paid for that, I would that $50 would be more than I spend normally. But I could know that I could have a lot of fun in there and not have to worry about it. I like prepaying for things, maybe that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I just I want to know what the price is going to be when I get off the ship. What I what I owe. <laughs> so, 
Oh. Uh, hey, is there a buy-in for that uh, blackjack tournament? Yeah, it's usually it's twenty dollars and uh, twenty dollars, and then you have seven hands to make as much money as you can. You get fifteen hundred dollars in chips, and then the there, there's several several entry level rounds, and you have to return by the the start of the final <coughs> table. Which, if you're still if your name is still on the board of the top six players, then you're on the final table, and you can re buy in at any point if you see your name is is like about to to get kicked off. You can mm-hmm. Go ahead and buy in for another twenty or twenty five. I can't. I, it, it's been several years since I played, so I don't know if the price went up, the buy in went up. But first place for the blackjack tournament is a is five hundred dollars cash plus an entry into a championship blackjack tournament on a different cruise. Second place is just entry into the the, the blackjack ter- championship on a different cruise. Third place gets a polo, and then the other the other the last ones get just the table shirts that, that they leave on the final table, which the table shirts, you know, everyone was about the size of me at the two, <laughs> two or three table, final tables that I've been to, and they gave us large shirts, and so I've never oh. been able to wear that shirt. <laughs> wow. Oh, shoot. Well, I don't want to knock you out the running, but I'm, I'm probably going to join that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. do it, man. The more the merrier. <laughs> I, 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 I Jack. It, it was kind of weird. I I made I'm I made second place in two different tournaments, and one of the guys that I can, that that played at both those tournaments was on a different cruise, and we were we were playing against each other again. Mm-hmm. So nice. and, and we remembered each other. It was it was pretty cool. Heck yeah, man! Yeah, that's exciting because when I go to Vegas, the only thing I play is blackjack or roulette. Don't ever play with Trevor. Play roulette with Trevor. (laughs) Oh, yeah? (laughs) I win. (laughs) You're also chanting black. Black. (laughs) Yeah, you know. Black. Black. I put all my money on black. (laughs) And I was like, black, 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 black. And he was thinking it's weird. It's a color. If we play, you're playing odds or evens. (laughs) (laughs) I'm okay with you chanting odd, 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 because it just, it it works, it fits. (laughs) The lady thought it was hilarious. (laughs) Well, yeah, they have, they have, they have a poker tournament, a Texas Hold'em tournament too, but those are really hard to get into. Yeah. And Mm. they also have slot tournaments too, but that just wears you out. Slot tournament. Well, you buy in, and you just keep, and when they say go, you just keep hitting the spin button until you run out of time. It's like three or four minutes that you're just hitting that spin button, and you know the thing doesn't even stop. So mm. I've done it once, and I, I was like, I can't move my arm anymore. <laughs> wow. Well, that is all the uh, table games and fun stuff that you can do as well. Very, very cool. I, I'm going to be excited to uh, root for you guys because I'm terrible at gambling, and so I, it's best I stay away. So yeah, I, started, I started playing craps a little bit. I mean, that's uh, that's pretty fun. I like that. Yeah. Well, I'll. Uh, we've got one more question that was for Mister John, and it was. Hang on. Let me pull it up. I had it pulled up, and now it's gone. Okay. So, good morning, John. I have a question regarding Bimini. From what I understand, this was originally a temporary port after the restart due to uh, complications and COVID protocols. Um, Can you offer any insight if it's now a permanent port for Carnival, or will the itineraries there... Uh, sometime change in the near future. So, and John's response to that was uh, pretty much, yes, we're going to continue cruises there as long as we have, or uh, there, (laughs) as we've had lots of wonderful comments about the beautiful place that it is. In fact, I posted about this the other day, and there were hundreds of comments with most saying that they really enjoyed it. 
it's not going to be a it's not going to be on a lot of itiner itineraries, but we will still definitely keep it as a place we'll go from time to time. I hope that's okay, and my best wishes to you as always. So that's interesting. I've never been there, and I'm glad that Carnival has kind of kept up going to a couple of these ports that they don't normally call yeah, to. Yeah, like Costa Maya and not Ocho Rios, but there's a different port in Falmouth, uh, Jamaica. Yeah, and I, I, I don't know. It's it seems like a good alternative, a nice, nice other place to go, especially for those of us who like only cruise the Caribbean. <laughs> it's nice having other options. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> We've been. To, I mean, there's only so many times you can go get away with going to Cosmo and having fun. Yes, and. I've I've yet to have a bad time in Cozumel. I always manage to have a pretty good time, but uh, you know I've got to keep up appearances. I have a Cozumel girlfriend now, so I, I mean <laughs> I've got to. So you play but, <laughs> Wow. But, okay. But it's one of those things. It's like. I don't know. The I, I like to go somewhere new. Like I, I don't get that anymore. So anytime we go places, it's like, oh yeah, can't wait to get back there. <laughs> I've been there before, so that's why I'm really this, yeah. This coming cruise is gonna be a lot of fun. The, the, that's so. why I am actually yeah, I'm ex extremely excited for this. You know, because it's not only is it places we've never been, but it's doing things that we've never done, like been in a port past four o'clock yeah <laughs> yes exactly exactly that so you get, you get to see a little different side of things so and that's that's kind of like going forward for me is gonna be focusing a lot on new experiences cruising not so much doing the same thing over and over and over again so but anyways well, do we have anything else we want to cover, guys? Mm. Good 33 minutes in. <laughs> I, 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 I got nothing. I, That's like know. an episode, I guess. <laughs> <I'm pretty sure. laughs> uh, That's an episode. <laughs> That's an episode. Let, let, let's call don't, it. Don't do any editing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no editing. Absolutely none. So anyways, make sure you guys hop on over to the Facebook page over at facebook.com forward slash Carnival Cruising Podcastaways. We also got a group there. You need to join the group. A lot of people are. Actually, like a lot more than usual, which is interesting. Uh, we The cult grows at every day. So get in now with uh, you get 10% off your second level. So... The, I don't know. <laughs> <Throwing stuff>. Really? <laughs> Definitely check out, we got a merch store. Lots of, we got, we, two, I, we, merch we, we got two merch stores, if that makes any sense. So definitely check both of them out. And yes, definitely. There, there's the, the, the save the foosball tables and a few others. There's the, the OG shirts that we created. And we're definitely going to have a lot more merch coming out. That's going to be a lot, a lot of different things that you, that you can choose from. So uh, I did put up, you can actually now get a poster of season one, the, uh, our, our artwork for the podcast. So if you want. We got our, artwork for the podcast? Yeah. The, the, uh, the, the cover. Yeah, if you ever download the podcast, you see our ugly faces. So uh, the one, the ones with me, like with a monkey, and you with a sloth. Yeah, and Reese in the middle now. So I thought you had a parrot, Tom. Did I? Maybe. Yeah, I, don't I had a sloth. <laughs> you had a parrot. Oh. I put all this work into this show. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Uh, you know. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't uh, get to uh, share it anymore because Madison does it. Yeah. You well, know. you know, she didn't this last week, so <laughs> you always got time. You can jump in there real quick. So, 
I think there's going to be a Madison Gate thing where everybody's going to be, be concerned that Tom is uh, poisoning Madison. I see. Yeah, you know, you never know. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> just know that you're unique. You, hang on. <laughs> you are unique. You are special, and you are loved. And remember, anything that happens on the ship stays on YouTube. Oh, hang Bye. on. Hang on. I've got to, I got to reprogram real quick. Save the foosball tables. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh.